Welcome back to Brush Up Your Game, and today, Mockingbird. Now, Mockingbird is another character that actually has some balance to her. She has four movements, five heroics, and... No, I'm sorry. Five punches, six heroics. That's what it was. All right. Sorry, I can count. It's not like I'm a math teacher by profession or anything. Uh, oh, well. Yeah, we do this all in one take, and it just, it lives. Mistakes happen. It's part of life. Uh, she does have the coveted double heroic and the double punch. So, you know, when she needs to be fighty, she's fighty. When she needs to be heroic and save the day, she is that. She has two copies of Spymaster. And, and this is kind of a weird card, very situational. The next master plan card played cannot add any civilians or thugs to your location. And I think it's important why this exists. There are several, many villains who have devastating overflow effects. Even Ultron, base game, core set Ultron, wins the game by filling up every location. Right? His overflow just passes on to the next location. Well, if Mockingbird exists she says my spot not getting any tokens at least not by the master plan card now she's going to have to have some setup this is going to require some teamwork happening but she is keeping a spot a very needed spot safe uh, this is this is a card that you need to use in the right situations it can also be very useful in a two-player game where Mockingbird would get two turns. And it doesn't say until your next turn, it just says the next master plan card. So she is preventing that, uh, that master plan card regardless of if she plays another card that round. So this is... Um, it, it's a viable ability is what I'm getting at is you are you're keeping spots safe and that can very much help you i, I think it's uh it's also helpful against uh, villains where you need to have uh, locations clear in order to use their ability anything like that when you're when you're trying to clear locations this is a big deal uh, I could see this being very helpful against a Magneto who is, you know, turning civilians into uh, thugs on overflow and not just in that location, but adjacent locations. And you lose if you don't have any civilians. Mockingbird can keep more people around. Uh, her other special is battle, I guess battle staves. I don't know. Uh, defeat two thugs in your location. And this is better than punch punch because there are several threats throughout villains I recently played kingpin so this came to mind that say thugs in this location require one extra damage in order to be defeated well she just says i i defeat two thugs doesn't matter how much health they have i'm just defeating two of them and it's not even remove, it's defeat. So she's taking two thugs and placing them on your defeated thugs card. Um, that can be a big help. Very much a big help. So Mockingbird, situationally very good, but cards that are useful. And I do like that she has five double, uh, double symbol cards. I, I wish... Maybe that one of these spy masters was different, that they weren't both heroic and only heroic, but it's a balance issue. Um, the single move always hurts me. Like, really? I'm going to move and I guess do whatever you did, the previous player did, but really, that's the only thing I get to do. Uh, single punch doesn't, doesn't hurt that much, but um, yeah, she, she's fairly balanced and, and I like the balance she brings, um, the move and is nice to have three of those. It's going to help. Uh, and I think she has the type of cards that set up 
the next player and really give a player good, informative actions. Uh, and she has enough flexibility where she's never really going to have a hand that says, nope, I can't help you out. I have to play this and only this. She's going to be able to say, oh, you need that? I can do that for you. So, yeah, I I like characters like that. I think they they are useful. Now, I don't think she ranks in my top 10, 20, maybe even 30. But she she is a, a good character to bring. And a solid include in most teams. So, anywho, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. And until next time, keep brushing up your game. Take care.